The record day. There's another renewed plea from the governor and state officials. Madeline Anderson joins us live in Milwaukee with more on their message to Wisconsinites to stop the spread of the virus. The governor and Department of Health Services officials say counties like here in Milwaukee County are seeing new cases at a rate so high they are three times what the state had considered the most extreme. They've now had to adjust how to measure this growing activity level. With two weeks to go before the Thanksgiving holiday, Governor Tony Evers and state health officials are reminding Wisconsinites that no gathering, large or small, is free from the risk of COVID-19. Plan for virtual holiday celebrations instead. On the heels of his statewide address about the pandemic and new executive order strongly urging people to stay home, the governor emphasized the dire situation the state is heading toward. Wisconsin could lose thousands more by the end of the year. Following Evers' message, Tuesday, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says he reached out to Evers' office and is open to sitting down with him to talk about new legislation to stop the spread of the virus. And I think the people of Wisconsin want us to stop arguing about COVID and start working together to show that we can actually help to work together to solve the problem. This week's White House COVID-19 Task Force report describes Wisconsin's increase in cases as unrelenting. DHS officials have even created a new category of activity level from very high to critically high after 65 of the state's 72 counties surpassed the top threshold. Back in April, when the virus was at its worst in New York City, their highest seven-day average of cases was 5,292. We are a thousand cases more a day. Doctors warn hospitals will have to start turning patients away if something doesn't change. There may be instances where people who have needs for emergency medical care that won't have a place to go in time. ICU beds are now 92% full across the state, while nearly 2,100 people are currently hospitalized with the virus. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Okay, thank you, Madeline.